Hello, hello, welcome you all. Next in a series of just me ranting a little bit, getting this stuff off my chest. I'm going to read from Romans 12, 9 today. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor. Serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope. Patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. You know, I just want to say that, yes, your love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Right? That's what we talked about. This world is Satan's world out there. So it is time for us Christians, I think, to speak up and to, you know, talk about zeal and fervor and passionately talk about what it is that we're called to do. You know, back to Romans 12, 6, it talks about the gifts that we all have. We're all designed uniquely with certain unique gifts to give the world. Satan will try to distract us from actually utilizing those gifts. He will have us work jobs that we're really not excited to do, but we do it for the money so we can pay the bills. Big Satan trick. Oh yeah, I don't like this job, but I gotta pay the bills. No, that is Satan speaking. What are your gifts? What are those things that God uniquely put you on this earth to do? Those are your gifts. Those are the things that if you don't contribute those to the world, if you don't speak those out into the world, if you don't live them every single day, you're not contributing what God put you here to do. Because we are all one. Together, we are one. So we are all independent parts of this oneness that God created. So it is time for us, right? I'm doing... That's what I'm doing. And we have a lot of folks within the Life Transform community that are doing the exact same thing. It's about love. And it's about, you know, identifying and speaking truth into people who are lost. And this isn't evangelizing and all that stuff. You can give it a term or whatever. It's just being conscious and aware in being who you naturally are in this world. So I just love, I love this verse. I love this whole, you know, Romans is great. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction and faithful in prayer. I live a joyful life every single day. And, and for me, it is, it is, I do know I have eternal life because I've given my life to Jesus and I'm following Jesus. That's why Jesus came here. Forgive us our sins, right? So we can have life eternal. And there will be a judgment day for each one of us. And God knows our heart. He knows our motives. He knows everything. So once I understood that and really internalized that, it's like, oh my goodness. I can fool you, I can fool me, I can fool my girlfriend, I can fool my mom. Can't fool God. And there will be a judgment day for me. And logic tells me, holy cow, he already knows. So I might as well do what Jesus is teaching me to do. Follow in his footsteps, lead the way he led, be the way he was. That's why he was sent here, to show us how to live our lives. So it becomes a heart thing, right? Not a head thing. We overuse, I overused in the past my head. Now it's like if I ever do something that I think I should do, phew, better be careful. Because that is not the way to go. We have, I have, you have the Holy Spirit in you. So why not? depend on the Holy Spirit. Well, how do I know if it's the Holy Spirit? You have to be intentional about taking a deep breath, spending quiet time alone, think time, 
right? And listen for the Holy Spirit. Some people call it intuition, your gut instinct. That's all Holy Spirit to me, right? Listen to that. We know what to do as people. We know, what, we know what's right and wrong. We know what's good and evil. We know what's honorable and what isn't. We know what's God honoring and what isn't. Even, you know, even if you're not even on this spiritual journey and you're not a big Jesus fan or anything like that, you know that. So it's just a matter of doing that. Easier said than done, I know. But it is time, right? No more fear. Fear is Satan. Fear is 100% Satan. So if you are fearful or anxious or any of those things, worried or any of that stuff, it's all Satan trying to get in your head. Two or more together thinking, two or more people thinking together, Satan cannot penetrate that. That's his kryptonite. So I encourage you, you know, I'd love it if you're in our community, life transform community, people who are for you, don't judge you in harmony with you. But if you're not in our community, find a community of people that you resonate with, that are seeking more, that are love-based and not hate-based, not divisive-based. Surround yourself with a group of people that build you up, don't tear you down, that, that breathe life into you and don't suck the energy out of you. That's what you need. That's the environment you need. That's why our whole mission is get people from isolation to community. That's the biggest problem that we have in this world, even though we're more connected than we are at any point in time in history, we're still more isolated. So the more you can become a part of a community, right? You can collaborate with others. You go to the abundance mindset. You go on the creative plane. All of a sudden, freedom. You start to experience freedom and the true peace and joy that God put us here to enjoy and sent his son here to show us how to have heaven on earth, which I believe I'm living it. And each of you can live it too if you're not already. Okay, you guys. Tune in next time as we continue this series. Love you.